I can't wait to play Dallas. I can't wait to play Dallas. I can't wait to play Dallas. A lot of trash has been talked for the past few days. When I started covering the um, <laughs> it goes as far as back and probably when the season came to an end. The Eagles trash. Defense was trash. Offense was trash. Coaching was trash. Front office was trash. All this was being yip yap all during the off season. Hmm. We done made some additional moves. With the addition of Saquon Barkley, we acquired some good pieces in the draft. Free agency. Not many, not many free agencies, but we had quite a few. Not to mention, we had some rookie free agents. We even had some trades. I'm going to get to that in a few minutes. Um... A lot of stuff has been yelled and, and talked about for the longest, man. I, I, I mean, I really can't put my fingers on this. And for the simple fact is, when you talk a lot, you often reveal a lot of things about yourself that you probably didn't meant to yell out in the first place. So you put yourself on the pedestal of trying to be the best. Now, this offense... That the Eagles have just put together this off season. Um, let's just say it was not a juggernaut, but it was pretty much a stable offense with the addition of Zaquan Barkley, the re-signings of AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. We re-signed um, Landon Dickinson. We've given some contracts to other players on the team. Additionally, we're talking about um, Hertz, who got his new contract last season. And, and it kicks in this season because the rookie did in the last year. Then we got some, some pieces on defense. So, um, yeah, we went to a boy named Huff, Josh Huff. We bought him in on, on, on a three-year deal, $17 million a season. So... And you look at the linebackers. Linebackers were pretty much a stable mate. But there have been some additions with um with Zach Bond coming over from the uh, New Orleans Saints, who the teams and people are saying that who's gonna be the starter on the on, on one of the weak side positions at linebacker. And you got people then you got players um who who who's pretty much kicking things up, if you know what I mean. Um, teams, I mean, players getting buffed up on defense because they had bad seasons. Last year was a bad season for the defense, pretty, pretty, pretty much in particular. But if you will put it into the overall perspective, you can say that the, the entire Eagles team was bad. Because one thing about it, when one side good, the other one bad, one side cannot function without the other. And it go to defense and offense. You got to have a good defense. And they got to have a very good offense. The Eagles got a very good defense with, with, all, did, with, with all the additions via free and you said draft and trades. Same for the offense. Everything has been put together in position for her to make a playoff push, possibly a Super Bowl addition or Super Bowl play. But let's but let go game for game. Let's take it to having a top seed. The Eagles had the ability to be the, the number one seed again for the for the for the second time in three years. Eagles have been number one seed since they Super Bowl year. Both Super Bowl years actually because the year the year before last season we were number one seed. So a lot has happened between now and then. Now, let's get to the new edition. 
Johan Dawson. Former first round pick of the Washington Commanders, who were traded today to the Philadelphia Eagles for for draft picks, a fifth round pick, no, I'm sorry, a third round pick, and two sevenths. The Eagles got Dawson a fifth, and they got a fifth, and they got another pick, I believe. So, this is the addition that I'm talking about. See, the Eagles have had issue with the number two, with the number three receiver for the past two seasons. Quez Watkins, we thought Quez Watkins would be that guy, but he wound up not being that guy. He wound up being an issue to begin with. One thing about it, when you don't, when you don't have a number three receiver to take off, to take the, should I say, take, take a break from the other two receivers, then you have an issue. The Eagles today saw that issue by getting Johan Dawson. Please go back and check the other video before you check this one because this video is just small minor compared to the one that I just um did earlier earlier well not earlier but later today before I left work. But please go back and check that one out. Don't forget to smash the likes, comment after the video is complete, notification bell on top. Now, back to Johan Dotson. Eagles have had Eagles have not had a number three wide receiver in a long, long time. We finally got one now with Johan Dotson. Wide receiver from a first round pick from Penn State. Um, this guy played with Saquon Barkley. If you guys remember now, Saquon Barkley, this is Saquon Barkley, fifth year in the league. Um, Jahan Dawson probably was a um probably was a freshman when uh Saquon left. Well, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, but please come in conversation in the comment section below and let me know if I'm right or wrong on that. Um Johan Dawson is a speedy receiver. This guy has the ability to break open. He, he he's a deep threat. Uh, 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 um, Devontae Smith is a deep threat receiver, a pretty good route runner. Then you got uh, AJ Brown, who is a damn good route runner, but he's the strength of the of of the three. So if you look at it, you got whole Batman and you got skinny Batman. Now it makes you wonder what kind of Batman he's going to be. <laughs> Could he be Robin, Wall Robin, or could he be Short Robin? We don't know. I mean, it, it's we can give him a name, but then again, we're gonna wait and see how it works. Each player has to earn a name by right, so we will see what happens in this um game coming up uh, at um uh, Brazil and um against the um the Packers. Now, Dawson has to catch up to um to the playbook because he going he going to a new playbook now and nothing like and, and nothing like it was the, the, the previous two years before then the previous year before his third year this is third year but he but last year and the year before he had, he had another different uh another no, different offensive coordinator who they let go today who, who they let go this offseason when dan quinn took over as head coach so which, what is it? He has to learn a new playbook. It's just that simple. It's going to take some time for him to learn that playbook. And he should be coming to the Philadelphia Eagles probably tomorrow or the weekend. Because he's going to see, um, because the Eagles play this Saturday. So he might be on the field. Probably just going to be in street clothes, probably. That probably won't, that probably won't going to happen because normally when you get, um, no, no, no. When you get players this late after training camp coming to an end, in kind of a slow process of learning, of learning the offense. So it could be two weeks, or he could be off for two weeks. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. The other, 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 this weekend's um last preseason game, the team takes a break before the regular season begin. So Dotson has a chance to catch catch up with the playbook, but then he probably gonna want to be at the at the, at the Nova Care Complex catching up to everything. That's how I know how that goes. So we'll see how that works with him. Because he's going to be needed right away um, in week one. He's going to be needed. The Eagles are banged up at wide receiver because um, uh, um, um, Johnny, he has a concussion. And then, and, uh, and then, Paris, and then the boy Paris, who they signed this offseason, had a one year deal. He's more like the odd man out now. So if he is the odd man, he, he could be traded. The Eagles might trade him to a team and look for wide receiver help. 
You never know. Um, so I expect the Eagles to keep those three. Uh, they gonna keep the they they, they, they gonna keep the Fuller State wide receiver, and, it, and, and I expect the Eagles to keep at least five or six wide receivers this season. At least five or six because they, they gonna need some to play on special teams. So I expect them to keep out five or six this off season before the season begin. Well, when, when, when they make the cuts, I expect them to keep six. Now I I drank I do looking at another um another uh 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 um thing on YouTube and they were saying can the Eagles offense be stopped? That is a very difficult question to ask. Look scary on paper, right? I say yeah, it does. Because see now who going who you gonna guard? Are you gonna stack the boss against Saquon to stop the run? Are you gonna spy Jalen Hurts? Are you gonna play a lot of zone coverages to keep the to, to keep the wide receivers at bay to keep them from keep to, to keep them from um going out stretching the field? It could be a comp it could be very very complicated. Cause when when the Eagles finally get a chance to play the Packers and beat the Packers, the Packers are the Packers are a very good football team. They're very good on paper. They went they went all the way to the playoffs last year and lost to the 49ers. They're good on paper. They're very good on paper. So we can't say nothing bad about the Packers because the Packers are a young, fighting, scrappy team. They're they, 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 they young, they young on all levels. The Eagles are a young, flash veteran team. We got a, we got a little bit more players that's a little bit older than most of the guys they got on, on, on the Packers side of the field, offense and defense alone. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyway... Just want to make this video for you guys. It's supposed to be short, but it, well, I'm going over 12 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it in it right here. And it's your boy, All My Green Talents. Don't forget to come in, like, share, and subscribe. We're going back to the Super Bowl. We're going back to the Super Bowl. Peace.